Hi there, welcome to the channel, my name is Brahim and there's been lots of things going on in the stock market recently and GameStop, they had their hearing the other day, it gave us a lot of insight into GameStop and how hedge funds, they trade and <coughs> manipulate stocks. Anyway, one thing that came up from this amazing person, she asked the question, um, her name is Miss Alexis Gordstein, she asked this. Go along for the ride and maybe make GameStop shoot up higher or come back down lower in the days that followed. And I think one of the questions that I have is, are there regulatory gaps in the reporting of what are called over-the-counter options, which are options that are not traded on exchanges, but are traded between big Wall Street players between themselves? And could that kind of trading, which is often um, counterbalanced or hedged with stock, have contributed to the volatility? And that's one of the questions that I have. So, there was a lot of words used there, options, counterbalance, da 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 da. Options basically is a contract, a contract to either buy or sell a stock at a certain price, and that's the strike price, you're going to buy it or sell it at, and it has an expiry date, you don't have to go through with it, but if you hold it on that day, you have to go through with the contract. You can sell it before, you can sell it on the day, well you can't really sell it on the day, you can sell it before, but if you wait for the day, the contract will get executed. Also, you can collect premiums from writing contracts. Anyway, so she, what she's talking about is are hedge funds using and abusing over-the-counter stocks? These are stocks that in your famous film, Wolf of Wall Street, your penny stocks, basically, literally pink slips, stocks where it's not liquid enough, they don't have enough market value or market share that they're just not traded on the New York Stock Exchange, uh, the NASDAQ. They're not traded on the London Stock Exchange. They're literally traded over the counter. Anyway, she's saying, is it being manipulated because they're not showing options through um, regulators and then hedging their bets with shares? So essentially, there's some sort of manipulation going on with um, OTCs. And she just basically put that question forward in Congress Goldstein hinting at price manipulation through over-the-counter trading between big players. OTCs are so small, you can make a crazy return on it. Because they're literally penny stocks. They're literally penny stocks. So, by her hinting at it, it's probably getting the hedge funds a little bit scared in their boots. But it's so good this question has been brought up. You put your thoughts in the comments down below what you think on this topic.